For centuries, scientists, writers, and artists have followed creative rhythms. Explore, produce, rework, repeat. And designers do the same. The more you practice the process, the sharper your instincts become. But most of us don't stop to think about our process. We just create. So here's your reminder. There is a process. Where do you thrive? Where do you underinvest? And when time or resources are tight, how do you keep momentum? That's where generative AI can come in. It's not about skipping steps or handing over the creative process. It's about removing friction and tedium. You can still honor the process without being rushed by a deadline. That moment when you're staring at a blank canvas, unsure where to start, AI can help you move past it. The task you've done hundreds of times, resizing assets, generating thousands of personalized variations, AI can help you do it faster while still enabling you to guide the vision. The difference is, now you've got a tool that keeps up with your ideas, giving you more space to explore, rethink, and refine. So let's look at how AI can support each stage of the creative process through inspiration and brainstorming, ideation, refinement, review and decision making, and production and scaling. Each stage shapes the final outcome, but the best creations don't always move forward in a straight line. Sometimes the magic happens when you pause, go back, and rethink. For example, Pixar almost entirely rebuilt Toy Story 2 just months before the release. While deep in the review stage, the creative team decided to go back to brainstorming. That's not a flaw in the process, that is the process. Still, we often underinvest in these moments of reflection. But why? Well, tight timelines, limited resources, or the pressure to deliver quickly. Generative AI helps change that. For example, in inspiration and brainstorming, this is where everything starts. Gathering inspiration from museums, artists, the world, but when you're under pressure, you might only have time to explore a few directions. But with generative AI, you could brainstorm 100 ideas in the time it used to take for 10. You're not locked into your first thought, and then you can explore wildly different concepts, styles, and tones, and see what sticks. Ideation. Once you've found a few promising directions, AI helps you build on them. Want to see how a concept works in different color palettes or compositions? You can do that, fast. Refinement. This is where your taste and creative judgment come in. Use tools like Generative Fill or Generative Expand to add props or fine-tune layouts, all without sacrificing quality. Review and decide. For when you want to show multiple high-quality versions to a stakeholder, AI makes it easier to generate alternatives so you can compare, get feedback, and adapt without starting from scratch every time. You can evolve the work in real time based on what's resonating. Production and scaling. Once your concept is locked, AI helps you scale. Adapt layouts for different formats, generate assets for every channel, or create personalized variations without duplicating the effort. For marketers, that means faster rollouts. And for creators, it means more output without more burnout. The truth? Your best idea might have been left on the table, but not because it wasn't good, because you ran out of time. And that's why mastering generative AI matters. It gives you the space to keep going, to keep exploring, and to push until the work feels right. So ask yourself, where do I tend to rush? Where could I spend more time if I had the right support? Because the creative process shouldn't feel capped by time. And now, with AI in your toolkit, it doesn't have to be.